Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this stunning uh, blueprint effect. Now this effect does need a few things, so you're going to be needing to download a few brushes, fonts and even an image to implement into this. So if you go down into the description, that will tell you everything you need to know and everything you need to download. So once you have installed everything into Photoshop, I'm going to show you a few things that you can do with this. Now this is not just a, a good for buildings this is also good for landscapes parks any anything like scenery so here's a few things uh, pictures of them um, in buildings so this is a great architectural building brings it really out and also a church one inside the building a great picture and as I said you can also use this for parks and other um, garden scenery and stuff like that so really play around with this and see what effects that you can create so I'm going to jump over to the image I'm going to be working with so here it is here this is a high definition image quite vibrant quite bold but if you don't have a high definition image it will work just as well with a standard definition one so first things first is we're going to go and duplicate our image so Control and J or Command and J if you have a Mac now I will say that if you can't understand me throughout this video you can go to the bottom of the video and click the little icon and it will show all the text what I'm saying and what I'm doing so that is for our overseas friends so first things first is we're going to go up to filter go down to stylize and find edges now once we've done that we're going to go and hit Control shift and u or command shift and u if you have a mac and that desaturates our image now once we've done that we're going to brighten it up so Control and l or command and l for levels we're going to go bring down the white slider bring up the black slider just a tad now what we're trying to uh, do here is bring the black lines through so bring most of the detail uh, in this so don't go by my settings play around with this because each image is totally different so click OK now once you have done that we're going to go over to our um, paper layer our paper page which you have downloaded in the description bar and we're going to go and select all of this so Control and A or Command and A if you have a Mac Control and C or Command and C to copy go to our picture Control and V or Command and V if you have a Mac. And we're just going to go and position this. And we're going to go and bring this to the size of our image. So stretch it. Click the tick icon at the top. From here we're going to go and desaturate, desaturate sorry, just like we did to the other one. So Control, Shift and U or Command, Shift and U if you have a Mac. And we're going to go and brighten this up. But we're not going to use the levels for this one. We're going to go and use our paintbrush tool make sure that you've got white as your foreground color we want a soft brush for this one and we want to make sure that we've got soft light for our blending option and the opacity is going to be 43 percent you can go for 40 43 percent so once we have done that we're going to just go and brush lightly over our image be quite generous with this say so something like that and we're just going to go and bring the building layer on the right hand side all the way up to the top and we're going to go bring that building layer to the blend mode of uh, linear burn so as you can see it brings it right through so what we're going to do is make this a clipping mask so hold down alt on your keyboard or option if you have a mac and just go between the layers and click and that makes it a clipping mask so what we're going to do next is we're going to go and add our color so we're going to go and make a new blank layer bottom right hand side and we're going to go and make this a clipping mask also so hold down alt or option on the keyboard and click and as you see they've got little arrows pointing downwards so we're going to go and make this the blending option to screen we're going to go and change our color and the color code for this one is going to be 00 zero. Zero zero three six five A five I think hang on a minute yep A five there we go A five and then we're just gonna go to edit fill and make sure it's got foreground colour and then click OK and it's changed it all to blue. Now what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go down to the bottom right hand side 
and we're going to add a new blank flower icon but before we do that we're going to hold down control on our keyboard or command if you have a Mac and then click the new blank layer icon now as you can see what it's done is it's made a new blank layer just underneath the blue layer and it's also made it as a clipping mask so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and add a border to this so top right sorry top left hand side and it's just going to go and drag outwards a border that we're quite happy with it's around about there that'd be okay and we're going to right click go to stroke three pixels for the width click ok control and d to deselect or command and d to deselect if you have a mac and from here we're just going to go and add a layer mask to this so bottom right hand side it sort of like looks like a little camera click that and it's added a little layer mask onto it make sure you've got black as your foreground color go to your paintbrush tool and what we're going to do is we're going to roughen this up so once you when you downloaded all the bits at the start we have incorporated some brushes so we're going to go to those brushes now and we're going to go to uh, this one right here and it's called scratches six and you can really play around with this you can use a few of them scratches um, five and six be okay for this change the blending mode to normal opacity all the way up to the top and all we're going to do is we're just going to go and roughen this up so just be very generous with this like that and we're going to go to our building layer now and all we're going to do is we're just going to go control and T to free transform we're going to bring it within the border so not touching the border just within it and same to the bottom like that click the tick icon and we're going to do exactly the same what we did with the border we're going to rough it up so we're going to go and add a layer mask to this one bottom right hand side blackish foreground color and we're just going to go and roughen the edges up just so they're not neat and they're not too lined up just zoom out just so we can just get those bits as I said switch between brushes and you can even go to the brush um, palette there and change the angle of your brush if you need to if you can't find that that is under window and brush and it should come up so we're just going to rough that up and same to the other sides like that and one more to the top like that and hide it and basically there you have it you have completed it but I would say go very lightly with roughing the edges up you might want to make the brush a bit smaller and just go very lightly this is just to show you what it would um, how to do it and obviously I've taken a lot more time on the other projects so all we need to do now is add a few bits of text so we're just going to go and select our border um, layer which we create the border on go to our text tool make sure at the top that you have wall calf bold that was also included in the fonts uh, in the downloads so we're just going to go and click and we want this to be um, anything so you can really just put anything you want here put work work project And then I like that um, add another text layer just do underscores for this like that and we're going to move it with the move tool on the top left left hand side just underneath add another text layer make that around about 18 
and you can put anything you want in this so um, made there we go and let me just make that a bit bigger so let's add that again hang on a minute there we go put that to 18 um, made uh, by Photoshop put that just underneath like that and there you have it your very own blueprint picture so if I go back to these ones right here just show you there that's basically what you'll end up with if you take a bit more time and a bit more care with the edges this is exactly what you'll get out of it and you don't have to stop right there you can put a load more effects into this you can even invert it and make the outside blue and the lines white so let's have a look something like this I've also added a few stains a few cup stains because we know how all the builders like their cups of tea and their coffee instead of doing work so they've sat that onto the blueprint and stained it and you can really just add a few more things onto this so have a lot of fun with this play around with it please comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you next time guys bye for now